Ukrainian troops have captured 17 Russian soldiers in New York village in Bakhmut City in Ukraine's Donetsk region, local telegram channels reported on Wednesday. Soldiers of the 12th Special Forces Brigade Azov captured Russian servicemen while repelling a Russian attack in the Turetsky direction. The captured soldiers have joined the Russian army from different parts of Russia. Some of them are participants in war crimes. Their statements will be forwarded to the relevant authorities for further investigation. Azov continues to replenish the exchange fund for the speedy return of their brothers from captivity, one of Telegram channels wrote. The operation to capture Russian soldiers comes amid intensified Russian attacks in the east of Ukraine. There have been no official reports from both sides on the capture of Russian soldiers. It should be noted that over 100 Russian servicemen were taken hostage during Ukraine's incursion on Russia's border Kursk region in early August. President Volodymyr Zelensky presented Ukraine's much-debated victory plan at Parliament on October 16. The proposal is comprised of five points an invitation to join NATO, a defense aspect, deterrence of Russian aggression, economic growth and cooperation, and post-war security architecture, according to Kiev Independent. If the plan is supported, we can end the war no later than next year, Zelensky said in the parliament in the presence of Commander-in-Chief Oleksandr Sersky, military intelligence chief Kirillo Budinov, and Western diplomats. Ukraine's invitation to join NATO was placed at the top of the list. Kiev submitted its application to join in September 2022 but has yet to receive a clear signal from the Allies. Zelensky said that the step should be taken now, representing a shift from his earlier comments that the move might be delayed until the end of the war. The second article stresses the need to bring the war to Russian territory, such as during the cross-border Kursk incursion launched in early August. This item also calls for lifting restrictions on long-range strikes in Russia, additional supplies of long-range capabilities, and Western support in downing Russian missiles and drones over Ukraine. The third point refers to non-nuclear deterrence and includes a secret part. Ukraine is proposing a comprehensive non-nuclear strategic deterrence package on its territory that would safeguard the country against future aggression. The fourth part addresses Ukraine's use of its natural resources, such as uranium, titanium, and lithium, which present economic growth potential for Kiev and the EU. Ukraine is offering a special agreement on joint investment and use of these resources with the EU and the US. The part also calls for ramping up international sanctions against Russia to undermine its ability to sustain its aggression. The fifth part relates to Ukraine's post-war security architecture. Kiev boasts a large and experienced military force that should strengthen NATO and the European continent, Zelensky said. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov slammed Ukrainian President Zelensky's victory plan, calling it ephemeral. He said, instead, that it's a U.S. plan to fight us until the last Ukrainian, which Zelensky has camouflaged and presented as some ephemeral peace plan. Peskov also reiterated that a peace plan for Russia will only work if Ukraine understands the need to sober up. Zelensky was set to at least partially unveil a plan to win against Russia to his country's parliament after weeks of dropping hints about the blueprint to lukewarm Western allies, including US President Joe Biden. Zelensky in the Verkhovna Rada stated that Western partners have practically approached the victory plan. Now, teams are focused on the details of effective support. Ukraine's partners, to whom this plan has already been presented, have approached it practically. 
they are paying attention. Teams are focused on the details for effective support. The teams have begun working, Zelensky said. He also confirmed that he would present the victory plan at tomorrow's European Council meeting. However, the president emphasized that he first needed to present it to the Verkhovna Rada. But I want to be honest about how certain non-public, diverse format communications with Ukraine accompany the situation. We hear from partners certain words like negotiations and, much less frequently, the word justice. Ukraine is open to diplomacy, but to honest diplomacy, Zelensky added. Notably, the victory plan has been shared with American leaders, including Joe Biden and presidential candidates Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. The document was also presented to leaders in the UK, France, Italy, and Germany. Thank you.